In this video I will show you how to wind a bobbin, how to put it into the shuttle, how to thread the machine and basically everything until the first time sewing. But before we begin, first some general information about the Singer 48K itself. Over half a million machines were built from 1900 to 1913. This R numbered 48K2 was made in 1902. The machine has a transverse shuttle. The hybrid shuttle is a unique design. And it and the bobbin travels from left to right in a straight line. It also has a higher arm than the earlier Singer 12K new family as seen here. Plus, it doesn't have a fiddle base as the 12 but a rectangular base. Let's agree it was an improvement in more than just a few ways. A huge practical difference is the needle type. It uses the standard 705 also known as the 15x1 needle. Talking about the 15 such like this one, the 48K was based on old technology. The 15 and the 27 or 28 models were more sophisticated machines. The 48K was an entry model. Now, meanwhile, they are quite rare. But enough on the history and the origins. Let's start with the needle. The flat side of the needle should face the rear and the groove towards the operator side. First you need a winded bobbin. Let's go and do just that. The bobbin might still be in the shuttle. Turn the handwheel so that the shuttle is visible underneath the left sliding plate. By sliding that plate even further, an arm is triggered and the shuttle will pop out. The bobbin is different to the class 12. It is flat on both sides. As far as I know, this is the proper way to wind a bobbin. Put the spool on top and guide the thread towards the left metal hook and then down towards your right. To the first hook and then to the main guide. Pull the left side out and place the empty bobbin in the holder. And pull the wire through the hole of the bobbin. Nearly there. Push the unit towards the balance wheel. The rubber wheel should make contact with the main balance wheel. Disengage the main gear by turning this counterclockwise. Now you can wind the bobbin without the needle moving. When you are done, don't forget to tighten the clutch plate to your right, clockwise. Now the bobbin into the shuttle. Hold the bobbin in your left hand and the shuttle in your right hand. The thread should come from the left rear towards you. Slide it in and pull the thread thrust down. And then up. If it all goes well, the thread is now behind the spring of the shuttle. Put the unit back into your singer. And now threading the machine. The spool sits on top. Left towards this hook, then down and around the tension discs. Let the thread sit between the discs. Up and through the arm, front to rear. Hook the thread behind the two hooks. and pull it through the needle, from front to rear. And that's it! The last thing you need to know is the stitch length regulator. The more to the right, the wider it gets. Left is tightening the stitch length. The upper thread tension can be controlled with this knob. And don't forget to oil this nice machine. Everything that moves needs oil, but no WD-40. Oil goes into the holes.
also look beneath. And of course behind the inspection plate on the rear of the machine. Everything metal and that can move can use oil. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below.